kind of like I need SMG. Oh, you're glowing bright red, brother. Um. <laughs> Vital element of cat people is the presence of Malcolm McDowell. Hmm, from uh, Clockwork Orange. Malcolm McDowell from Blue Thunder. Come on, you're gonna hit me with the Blue yeah. Thunder instead of Clockwork Orange for Malcolm McDowell? Listen carefully, David. Only an amateur would call a Clockwork Orange his <laughs> best movie. Excuse me, Francis York Morgan. It's one of the most critically revered films of all time, Stanley Kubrick. His best movies. What did you years. stop to see? 2005? It's probably White Chicks. The Island. Oh, the directed by... Directed yeah, by yeah. Bay. You know, it's got Scarlett Johansson. Is it Ewan McGregor? For a movie being shown at a cinema complex, it was surprisingly artistic. An experimental setting mixed with hard-hitting drama. It was art house sci-fi. In some ways. That director's going to change the history of art house films. I've always said that about Michael Bay. Famous for directing Transformers. Are you following me here? This is another special film that's setting a new standard, just like Star Wars and Blade Runner did. Aged like milk. This is a turning point, Zack. You may be witnessing the birth of a vital new word that will soon become a part of film history. Oh, God. Yes, this single movie may be responsible for creating <laughs> a whole new genre several years down the line. A genre known as island movies. <laughs> I sure like the sound of that. And no red, remember? He's even got the red tie, dude. It's Oh, I thought he was unzipping. It's open. Come on in. Well, excuse me? Francis Zach Morgan? By the way, if you're like, I didn't watch Deadly Premonition 1, what's the story? <sighs> oh my god, dude. Um, you don't need to know. Let, just watch the nine-hour video. Oh, it's a prequel. <laughs> Even is No, there's no way this is a prequel. <laughs> it's both. Find a way to get Miss Carpenter to let you use the lane. <laughs> Was it force? Yes. Excessive? I take issue Excuse with that. Me, Mrs. Carpenter. Stop! Not now! <laughs> Watch Big Brother people play a game. It's the There's same thing. There's a helicopter thing. on top of me, guys. All right, helicopter. This is kind of oh, I downed him. I downed him. <laughs> Yo! Put that on your TikTok, bitch! <laughs> Maybe it was. I already explained to Kate that at least once in our child's lifespan, I'm going to get the cops called on me. There's definitely going to be a situation where somebody's going to call the police and be like, uh, this large, bald, white man just stole an Asian child from your preschool. There's going to be like, I'm going to get an Amber Alert on my phone for me picking my daughter up from school. I, I almost guarantee it. <laughs> but I'm prepared for it. You'll never take me alive, coppers. He's cancel culture. <laughs> <laughs> cancel culture's gone crazy. A thick black accessory wrapped around your neck. That's a male necktie. Well, it's a necktie. The color black represents confidence and interest in the self. It's actually a hue. And your decision to wear a male tie symbolizes your declaration of war against a predominantly male society. Just part of the dress code, incel. Or perhaps not. I want to fight anyway. I would it's agree it with literally that. Literally, the lady was like, "Do you want to be an organ donor?" I was like, 
Sure. And she ticked the box. I was like, if anyone said no, you're a piece of shit. I'm sorry. My grandma. You're a piece of shit. By the way, I wanted to start by saying I agree with you. My grandma is not an organ donor, and my mom asked her why, and she said, I don't want to get to heaven and not have eyes. <laughs> sorry. It's your grandmother. Is your grandma an ancient <laughs> Egyptian? <laughs> Well, it's just 50 50. She is pretty old, but she's. I don't even. Can, you can't even donate your eyes. Yes, I, I believe that you cannot. Not to mention that you want like a. Like a 80 year old's eyeballs. It's not really like no, top of the you list. Can... At least Imagine non- thinking this all-powerful being it wouldn't be fucking generous enough to give you your yes. eyes back. He's I like, know. Sorry, I mean, there's not much I can do. I like, can create an eternal paradise where you can. Do you want like forever, a glass but... orb? I don't know. <laughs> Let's even back. Sorry, Miyazaki. I'm a track mania slut now. Okay. Immediately wish I had not said that. Somewhere. Mm. Out, like, what, what would they do if you had like door. a little you just one? Door. Ryan, he peeked the orb. <laughs> I thought there would be space for me to stand behind it. <laughs> oh. It opened and spat me out into the into the vomitorium. Hello, TikTok. <laughs>